Hello, and welcome to another X-Plane 11 video. Uh, today we're doing a requested flight. We're flying Virgin America 404, service from LAX over to JFK. The plane's turned on, loaded, aligned, and ready for the uh, final bit of programming before we uh, depart. And before we get going with all that stuff, I want to offer an apology that I haven't been around much lately. Uh, like I've said a number of times, when I've come back after an absence, uh, real life just sometimes gets in the way. And there's been a lot of real life going on lately. But that's, that's, you know, that's kind of what happens. So, all that to say, we're in the Jar Design A320. Like I said, Virgin America 404, LAX to JFK should take about five and a half to six hours. Um... Simbrief gave me a really light load for the plane today, but that's fine. There's like no one on it. I think 40 passengers or something like that. But I am also uh, following along with an early morning flight, so so there you go. That's that's what we'll stick with. I used Topcat to do some takeoff calculations. And that's really, I think, all there is to talk about. Um, I'm going to try and get this one done and out to you guys. Uh, I'm not sure what my schedule holds over the next few weeks. It could be crazy, it could be slow, and I could have time to do more stuff. Um, but it's kind of a touch and go thing right now, so we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and hop in the flight deck and down to the MCDU. Simbrief gave us a cost index of 9 and a cruise flight level of 35,000 feet. You notice that I am ignoring the 9 and putting in 30 because I don't want to use cost index 9. And I forgot to put the uh, cruise flight level in properly. There you go. Second page, we'll take our zero fuel weight. Plenty of extra time on the other side of things. Go to the flight plan. Our departure out of KLAX will be off of 25 right via the Orca 1 departure with the, the uh, Las Vegas transition. I think that's Las Vegas. I could be completely wrong. Anyway, we'll insert that. And that is us just about ready to go. See, our trim will be flap 1 and up 0 0.2. Our flux temperature is going to be 57 degrees. And our V speeds, according to Topcat, are 144, 144, and 146. Alright, that's us pretty much ready to go. I'm using X Enviro for the weather today, which which breaks this thing. Uh, let's see, uh, it, it hasn't broken it yet, but it will eventually if I leave X Enviro installed. Go ahead and take fuel pumps and the APU, bleed and packs. While we wait for the APU to come up, we can we'll just wait a second and then we'll tell ground handling to go away. While we wait on that to come up, I will be using the Better Push Pack plugin today. Uh, I will link this in the video description, but basically, let's, see, let's do something like this, which is probably completely against procedure, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ground to cockpit, plan acknowledged, call me through the menu when you are ready. So I'll link this plug-in in the description, you, you may have already seen it in some other videos, but it is... By far the best pushback plug-in we've ever had in X-Plane, and it is fantastic. It lets you do a completely unattended pushback. 
a grand canyon to go away. That's the way it all. Go ahead and clear the jetway and make sure that we close all our doors. Belt sign should be on. Go ahead and take the beacon. We'll go ahead and call that pushback truck. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Wait on him to lock to the plane, and then we'll be ready to go. As usual, in the uh, video description there will be links to the sceneries I'm using, the plane I'm flying, and all of that stuff will be there, as well as some other links you may find useful if you've got some questions about what I'm running. All that information is in various links in the video description, as well as links to my social media where you can keep up with me between videos. So connected and bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Start and push back, and you may start engines. Alright, we'll start engine two. This is Mr. X KLAX without static aircraft turned on. There are still some statics around, but for the most part, the gates are empty. For the purposes of online flying, which I was going to fly online today, but unfortunately, I do not have the time to actually sit here and monitor this whole flight, and it's long enough that there will probably be uh, controllers on and I'd get in trouble, so I just can't do that today. Unfortunately. Let's start number one. Operation complete, set parking brake. Disconnecting tow, stand by. A flight control check.
Laps one, spoilers armed, auto brake max, flight control check is done. Oh, is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Have a nice flight. Are good to go. Take a taxi light. Start our taxi four two five right. My frame rate here at LAX is really pretty terrible. I'm hoping that once we're up in the air and all that, it will get better, and I'm hoping that it stays decent into New York, but we'll just have to see. This is X-Plane 11.02, which did help optimize that quite a bit, but it's still, uh, still a little rough. And I'm not sure what exactly is causing that. It's probably a secret. Yes. But, like I said, it's Mr. XKLAX, and his sceneries are phenomenal, and usually not, not so brutal on frames. I need to do some tweaking, apparently, but I've got settings turned, you know, they aren't all just maxed out. It's not set up ridiculously, it should be running quite well. But uh, for whatever reason, it is not running that well. Right now, we're only getting like low 20s. That. I'm not going to turn on an indicator because I don't like indicators in my videos. But it's not good, whatever it is. Good. 
the autopilot. There's no way it's flying this departure correctly for the record, but anyway, that is us off out of LAX. Welcome back. We are approaching top of descent, so I already put in the arrival. We're landing on the uh, ILS approach into uh, 22 right at JFK. We'll go ahead and do the approach performance. For some reason, my frame rate just takes a humongous nosedive whenever X-Plane 11 is in the foreground, so I have to figure that out. Tune-H is 29.91, the temperature is 24 degrees, and the wind is 190.13, and that is us pretty much set up for our descent, descend down to 1900 feet the managed descent and then take the ILS onto to the right and we will be descending shortly actually we will be descending now she was giving me the uh, little scroll wheels which it stopped with whatever it is Spot. Why won't you show me the book spot? Whatever. I'm trying to get the wheel. This is very frustrating. Anyways, we will descend into JFK and I'll be back when we're on final approach.
right, we are on our way into 22 right at JFK. A little over four miles to run. I feel like this maybe isn't lined up properly in the scenery. Bipod. This looks strange to me. It's worth noting that I don't know where Virgin America would park. Um, I forgot to look up the gate and I'm not going to do it now, so we're just going to pull into whatever gate we get to first. That's how we're going to do this this particular time. hours 45 minutes apparently so under five hours once again there will be links to the sceneries I'm using in uh, the video description as well as the airplane and links to my website which will answer some questions as far as specs plugins those sorts of things you can find there and links to my social media if you'd like to keep up with me between flights other than that uh, we 
we're just going to keep taxiing and parking. But that will pretty much wrap it up for Virgin America or Redwood 404. Service from LAX to JFK. So we pull over here and do some parking. take some time and figure out why I get like 40 to 50 frames a second when I'm tabbed out of x -plane. and I get uh, low 20s at best when I'm tabbed in because that makes uh, no sense whatsoever I'll have to do some research and figure that one out but we'll get that solved I'm optimistic it can be solved because clearly higher frame rates are achieved as well they should be given my setup. Like I said, we'll take first spot available. Uh, the other thing to note is um, one of the reasons I've been gone a little bit is since we're still early days for X-Plane 11, a lot of stuff is changing rapidly. Uh, for instance, you've got the Zebo Mod 737, which is night and day a totally different airplane from when I first did a video with it. Um, so I'm kind of hoping some of those things settle down a little bit, some other things get finished, and we will see what happens. But there will be some more stuff headed your way just as soon as I can make it. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you didn't, if you hit the dislike button. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Virgin America 404. Service from LAX to JFK. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.